Hello friends, welcome to Priya Edu Plus. In this lecture video, I will be telling out some clinical criteria that will provide you a clue to identify the nature of thyroid nodules, whether it is benign or malignant. Okay, let's move into the lecture now. There are there are five clinical criteria. I will be describing each and every criteria detail. Okay, first one is solitary. nodule when you palpate the thyroid glands if there is only one nodules it is a dominant nodules which is getting palpated means the chance of of a carcinoma is more compared to multiple nodules okay if it is going to be so if it is going to be solitary nodule tumors the chance of carcinoma is more this is the first criteria then nodules in Younger patients. We we already know that carcinoma are common in older age, but here it is opposite. Thyroid carcinoma are common in younger patients. Then coming to the gender males. We uh, we have already studied about many thyroid lesions. Thyroid lesions are more common in women. Similarly, carcinoma also more common in women. But if it is going to occur in male, the chance of carcinoma is more. Okay. Increase chance of carcinoma is more. And if the patients have the history of fourth criteria is. radiation exposure if the patient is having the history of radiation exposure to the head and neck regions there is increased risk of thyroid malignancy so whenever a patients come you must ask the history whether they have exposed to any kind of radiation for head and neck whether they had undergone any uh, undergone any radiotherapy treatments we must uh, ask the patient and find it out okay then next one is functional nodules this functional nodules will take up the radioactive iodine so if it is taking up the radioactive iodine it is called as hot nodules if it is going to be hot nodules the carcinoma the incidence of carcinoma will be less it will be more likely to be benign than malignant if it is going to be a cold nodule it is more likely to be a malignant okay i thought of explaining about the hot and cold nodules in my previous lecture itself but i forgot on it now i will be telling sir if the gland is functional it will take up radioactive iodines and it is known as hot nodules okay if it is gland is non functional it will not take it will not take radioactive iodine so it is called as cold nodules okay malignancy is more common in the cold nodules okay friends these are the five important criteria that must be known it is most use, most useful in a clinical practice and everyone must know about these five clinical criteria okay friends that's all this is a short lecture videos and in my next lecture video i will be discussing about follicular adenomas stay tuned friends if you like this lecture video please give thumbs up and and subscribe my channels and you will be getting future updates thank you friends